Hi everybody, my name is Dave Marsh and I'd like to welcome you to this Matrix version 8.0 tutorial. Now before I begin, I'd first like to mention that because each MLS has slightly different requirements, the system that we'll be using during this tutorial may differ slightly from the one that you're currently working with. Nevertheless, the functionality is the same and for the most part, whatever you see during this tutorial, you'll easily recognize in your own system. Now I'm going to take for granted that everyone knows how to log into the system, so we'll start by inserting our user ID and our password, then click login to begin. Alright, today we're going to take a look at the new functionality that was introduced in Matrix 8.0. Now for the most part, these updates are centered around the integration of Realist with the familiar look and feel of Matrix, giving users who use Realist a true 360 degree view of all properties in the market not just the ones that were listed. In other words, members can now search, display, print, and export tax and assessor data from within Matrix rather than having to use a completely separate application. All right, so let's begin by creating a search for information about a property. Specifically, we're gonna assume that I'm an agent who has recently sold a listing in a very busy neighborhood. And now that the sale has gone through, I'd like to inform some of the other owners in this hot community about my services. Now, because I'd prefer not to blast everyone in the area with my advertising, we're only gonna target prospects in this area who have not had their property up for sale in the past five years. And this makes sense because anyone who has recently purchased property in this area will probably not be interested in my campaign. Now I could try to find new prospects by using a traditional property type search for listings sold earlier than five years ago, but there's no guarantees that some of those same listings haven't been sold again since then. So what we're really interested in is only properties from our isolated area that haven't been sold in at least the past five years. And since Matrix 360 now has the ability to search all public records directly, we're going to use the integrated tax search to find those properties. Now, when you do a public record search in Matrix, you'll probably recognize a lot of the familiar looking fields from Realist. But again, for this search, we're only gonna concentrate on using the last sale date of five years ago or before. And from the button bar, we see there are 70 properties in this area that were sold five years ago or before. All right, so let's go ahead and view our search results. And from here, select all listings. Then I'm going to click the print button to generate a PDF that includes mailing labels for the flyers to all of my prospects. All right, so now let's return to our results for a moment. And this time, we're going to click on the tax ID to view some additional details about this property. And you notice that with Matrix 360, Full displays now include multiple tabs with most containing detailed tax information pulled directly from Realist and whether or not that property has ever been listed on the system. And if it has, it'll show all of the listing information as well as the current status of that listing. 360 displays also include a thumbnail collection of any property photos associated with the current or the last listing, as well as a full property history, including any listing activity, public records, mortgage, foreclosure, and whatever other history might be tied to that property as well. Matrix 360 full displays also unify multiple interactive Google Maps on one page, each offering a unique default view of that property. The first is a satellite image that displays a realistic shot of exactly how that property looks from the air. Next is a parcel map, and this shows the dimensions of the current property being viewed. And finally, the interactive roadmap allows you to walk the block and view additional 360 information about other properties that may be in the same neighborhood. Realist users will also recognize the availability of valuable flood maps showing precisely where the current property is relative to specific flood zones on the map. And when printing 360 full displays, Users now have the option of either printing all of the property information or just choosing the specific tabs they'd like to generate. And finally, Matrix 360 also offers a limited number of public record exports, allowing users to easily create and save selected properties as a CSV file. 
All right, well, this concludes the Matrix 8.0 tutorial. I'd like to thank you for watching and hope that you can join me for another session. Take care.